Hi guys, welcome to Storytime with Ange. I'm your host, Angela Dieterlisi. I am a children's book author. That's right, it is my job to write children's books. And I would love to share one of the books that I've written with you today. Like you guys, I'm spending a lot of time at home right now. Here I am in my studio. This is actually where I write a lot of my books. I'm not getting to see my friends as often. Maybe some of you guys aren't going to school right now, um, but you, maybe you can get outside and explore in your yards a little bit. Maybe you can even see if you can find some bugs. This is a book that I have written. Uh, it's written by me and it's illustrated by my good friend, illustrator, Brendan Wenzel. I'd love to share it with you guys today if you'd like to hear it. Yay! Okay, great. Some bugs. Is there any bugs on that page? Oh, oh there's one right down there. Let's see. Wait a second. That's not a bug. That's a cat. But there's a bug. That's a ladybug. Wait, there's a jar, a net, and a magnifying glass. I wonder what someone is going to do with those items. Maybe they're going to look outside and explore and see if they can find some bugs. What do some bugs do? Some bugs sting. Some bugs bite. Some bugs stink. Oh, have you ever smelled a stink bug? That ladybug did. And some bugs fight. Look at the size of those Hercules beetles. Some bugs flutter, like the monarch butterfly. Some bugs crawl. This is what a monarch butterfly looks like before it becomes a butterfly. Some bugs curl up in a ball. Look at the size of that woolly bear caterpillar. Have you ever seen one of those? Sometimes they live under logs or rocks, or you can find them just in the grass. Some bugs hop. Some bugs glide. That's a Katie did. Some bugs swim. And some bugs hide. This is one of my most favorite bugs. Can you see him in there hiding? That is a praying mantis. There's his head and there's his long body. He almost looks like a long blade of grass. He's camouflaging himself, so he's hiding because he eats other bugs. That little ladybug is hiding so she doesn't get eaten. Some bugs click, like the click beetle. Some bugs sing, like these crickets. Some bugs do a buzzing thing. Can you think of any bugs that do a buzzing thing? Bzzz, like the bumblebee? Some bugs build. That's a paper wasp. Some bugs make. Like when spiders make their webs. That's an orb weaver spider. Some bugs hunt. Oh, look at that wheel bug. Oh, he's hunting that little fly. And some bugs take. Oh my goodness, look at all of those ants. They're taking everything from that picnic basket. They even took a Lego and a Dorito. And how did they get that orange slice all the way down there? Hmm. Stinging, fighting, excuse me, stinging, biting, stinking, fighting, hopping, gliding, swimming, hiding, building, making, hunting, taking. Bugs are oh so fascinating. Look at all of those bugs. So kneel down close, 
look very hard. and find some bugs in your backyard. Look at them all. Can you get outside and explore your backyard? Well, in the back of this book, we put a field guide, which is kind of like um, a little, well, it's a guide to anything. You can have a field guide to birds or mammals, but this one is almost like a little field guide to bugs. So if you see any of these insects, you can take a look and see if you can identify them, and then you will know exactly what you're looking at. Like if you see a cicada, or if you see that Chinese mantis in your yard, or even a whirligig beetle in the water, and even a cat. Wait, that's not a bug. It even says Oscar is not a bug. <laughs> well, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me for Some Bugs. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to sharing more of my books with you at Storytime with Ange. Thank you. Bye.